Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. We are starting this one in this like formal setup. Haven't filmed over here in a while, but I was filming a sit down video. So I figured I would just start the vlog while my camera's all set up. This was definitely a pre-filming kind of thing. So you probably won't see that video for a while. It was honestly kind of weird. I haven't filmed a sit down video in a while. Anyway, hi, if you're new here, my name's Katie. I'm an editor and an author. I have four books out right now. My fifth one is coming out August 24th. About vampires and witches and it's bloody and gory and gothic and mysterious and sexy and you can check out the links down below. I thought I would just start a casual vlog. It's a Saturday. I've already gotten most of the stuff I needed to get done today done. It's 4 30. So we're gonna hang out. I'm still working on line edits for the marionettes. I have like 30 pages I think left of this draft and it's like my final draft pretty much unless I come up with something that I want to change last minute otherwise I'm like pretty satisfied with the book. The only things this was like my last minute changes to book four to the anti-relationship year was just tweaking little things trying to improve the characterization and character development for side characters which is kind of what I've been doing as I go along it's just kind of like beefing up that characterization for some more minor characters just giving them a, a little something some. Uh, that's what I'm working on and also line editing. But other than that, the book is done, which is so exciting. I think we're gonna start a book tonight. We're reading Punk 57 in my book club this month over on Patreon. So I think I'm gonna start that tonight. So yeah, welcome back to the new vlog. Sitting here filming a sit down video for the first time in what felt like a really long time made me realize I kind of wanna film more sit down videos again. I know they're not as popular on my channel as the vlogs. The vlogs seem to be the fan favorites and that's totally cool, but um, my issue is because it's been so long, I literally have zero ideas for any kind of videos other than vlogs. So if you have any requests, let me know down below. Stuff on editing, stuff on publishing, stuff on reading, whatever kind of video you would like to see, let me know. Other than that, we're just going to keep vlogging. People say this is lazy content. It is. It's because I don't have any ideas. I use all my creativity in my books and my work. I have none left for YouTube anymore. I'm so sorry. You want to see Dean? He looks really cute. I'm just taking a nap. Let's keep him mom company while she films. His one pink toe. You know what I would love? If you wanted to leave a comment down below something good that happened to you this week or something that you're looking forward to. We haven't done that in a while and I just love seeing good things down below in the comments or maybe something that you're like proud of or something you've accomplished lately. Those always like make me proud of you guys. I would love to see those too. It's a Saturday. This might go into the week, the vlog. I don't know. Kind of lame. But the thing I'm the most looking forward to this week is The Bachelorette starts on Monday and I'm meeting up with a couple of my friends and we're gonna drink wine and watch The Bachelorette together, which sounds like super simple. We've known each other since like middle school. So we used to watch The Bachelor in, together in high school. And then obviously we didn't for the past like year and a half because of COVID. It's gonna be my first time watching The Bachelor, Bachelorette with someone else in a while other than my mom. <laughs> So I'm just really excited to see my friends and hang out and watch The Bachelorette this week. Nothing like not being able to do your normal things for a year and a half that makes them seem special. Hi, I haven't updated you because I haven't done anything. I made a lot of TikToks today just for fun. I kind of like to bulk make them and I posted two today, one this afternoon and one tonight. And the one that I posted an hour ago is like blowing up out of nowhere, uh, which is kind of cool. I've had a couple of TikToks do that where they do pretty well, but they're usually like comedy, like joke ones that have nothing to do with any of my stuff. But this one was like actually about one of my books, with, like a quote from the book. And people are asking like, what's the book? What's the book? So that's pretty cool. Anyway, I was saying I was gonna read tonight. I don't think I'm going to. I think we're gonna watch Sex in the City. <laughs> my problem is just, I don't know where my iPad is and I have the audiobook for this book, but I also have the Kindle version and I don't want to just like sit around listening to the audiobook. I'd rather like physically read it, but I don't know where my iPad is. If we can find it, maybe I'll read because then I won't have an excuse. Dino. Dino. Ah, that got your attention. I don't know where my tripod is, but you guys, I am pumped. I saw a huge spike in sales for the anti-relationship year today because of that TikTok. That was the book that I was talking about in the TikTok. I still kind of feel like the old person on TikTok, like it's a Gen Z thing and I'm like the clueless millennial, but it's fun and clearly effective for book marketing. Hello, happy Sunday. I look kind of rough. I was out of bed. I got out of bed at like six o'clock this morning, but we've come back. I'm having a smoothie. This is the mango and papaya one from Daily Harvest. This is my first time trying this flavor. I really like it. Dean, do not try to climb in there. And I started reading Punk 57 and I'm really liking it so far. So we're just having a chill morning in bed and reading. I'm planning on just having like a self-care kind of day. So we're gonna lay here and read for a while. I'm gonna go work out in a bit. We're gonna clean up. 
the condo and just kind of get ready for the week and that's really the only plan for the day so we'll see how far we can get into the book i don't think i'm gonna work on my books today even though i kind of want to i think having a day off will be nice and then we'll like dive back into it for real tomorrow <music> showing you my face because I look rough. Here's Dean. I finished my draft of the marionettes this morning. We finished the last few chapters of edits. I'm doing some research on categories and keywords that I want to use for Amazon for this book. This is um, called Publisher Rocket. I can have a link down below if you want to check it out. You like search for what keyword you want and then it'll give you some variations that people search and you can look and see how many competitors are there for that keyword. How competitive is it? How many searches does it get per month? And then you can also like search for certain books to see what categories they're in, how many books you'd have to sell per day to rank in that category, like all that kind of stuff. Um, it also has a whole thing just like for helping with making Amazon ads. It's a little bit pricey. I think it's like 90 something dollars, but I found it to be worth it. I'll have a link down below if you wanna use it. I'm just making a list of potential categories and keywords to use right now. Also an update on the TikTok. It's over 15,000 now and I saw a huge spike in sales for this book, The Anti-Virginity Pact, my audiobooks, I even got some more people subscribing to my newsletter and buying signed copies and stuff. So like this TikTok has been the highlight of my week. Anyway, I'm having some daily harvest oatmeal for breakfast. I already have my coffee, so I'm just drinking water. Once I eat this and it digests a little bit, I'm gonna go for a run. <music> shower but I'm still not gonna like do makeup or anything today so this is all we're working with. I'm going to watch The Bachelorette at a friend's house tonight so I'm just trying to get as much done before then as I can. I've been going through marionette stuff all morning and just kind of like tweaking stuff. Honestly I'm so happy with where the draft's at right now. Sometimes you just get in this mood where you like hate everything and you read everything that you wrote and you just think it's horrible but then you wake up the next day and you're in a different mood and you read the same freaking passage and you're like Wow, this is good. What I thought was trash yesterday, I actually really like today. But actually, that's not what I'm working on right now. I'm actually working on my poetry collection. I don't know if you can hear Dean crying in the background. There's nothing wrong, he just does this. Come on, what's your problem? He just wants attention. What's he saying? Working on poetry collection, I actually think it's pretty much done in that I have like all of the poems that are gonna go into the book for the most part. I probably will add some last minute because I always do that. Right now, I'm just kind of like playing around with the order of them and taking out any that I don't want to include after all. I'm just really working on the organization. I don't think I've really talked about this collection very much lately on the channel. It's something that I didn't want to put any pressure on. I didn't have a timeline for. I just kind of worked on it when I was feeling inspired and just kind of pulled it up every once in a while. And it's been really inconsistent, but it's like a full length collection at this point. Like I said, I'm just like moving things around, deciding if there's any that I actually want to take out. And I think I was kind of discouraged about posting or publishing another poetry collection for a while there because for a little bit, my poetry collection, Poems for the End of the World, reached the wrong side of the poetry community. I think because it got nominated for that Goodreads award, a lot of people who really love poetry got into it. Like that book has been added on Goodreads over like 5,000 times, which is nuts, like 5,000 to read shelves. That's the most any of my books have ever gotten. And so I've gotten a lot of like one star reviews on that collection lately, basically just saying, this is insta poetry. I hate like rupee core poetry. Like this isn't poetry, like stuff like that. Which like, if you don't like, modern like micro poetry all it would take is looking at the first page of a free sample of the book to know it's not for you so why wouldn't you just not read it then if you know it's not for you i will never know but basically i was feeling really discouraged after seeing like a ton of negative reviews roll in like one after the other and so i didn't really want to write poetry after that i wasn't really motivated to work on the next collection because i just find the poetry community to be very divided there's the people who really only like like classic poetry and like the kind of poetry you have to read in school and then there's the people more open-minded to what's been published in the last five or ten years that happen some people call it modern some people yell at me when i call it modern but people within that community call it modern poetry sometimes it's called insta poetry micro poetry my poetry isn't micro poetry it's not like two lines but i have like occasionally one or two line poems anyway there's like the two different poetry camps i kind of think of it as like the 
people who only read the classic novels and only like literary fiction those kind of poetry readers and then people who are just like a little more open-minded to trying different kinds of poetry and for a while there my book just got stuck in this camp and it was just not a fun time um so i actually went to goodreads today i just scrolled through some of the other reviews to kind of remind myself that like some people this is not for them and they hate it and that's fine but there are some people who have really connected with my poetry in the past and it really meant something to them and they really liked it and the negative voices are often louder and it's easy to forget the good things so i just kind of went through some of the more positive reviews to kind of remind myself that not everyone's gonna like your poetry but some people have really liked it and it's worth it to keep working on it so anyway that's the project for right now i don't have any release date or anything set for this I'm definitely anticipating it'll come out this year. Honestly, it might be ready before Marionettes is ready. I have no idea. I'll let you know. Good morning. Today's Tuesday. I had so much fun with my friends last night. I actually feel like that like helped me get back into more of a working headspace. Like now I'm really ready to work today. I went through emails all morning. I got a rough draft of Marionettes book three's cover this morning. So I sent back some notes on that. And I'm sitting here. I can't show them to you because I don't want to spoil anything. But I'm making note cards for all of the scenes in book two because I'm trying to start a new draft. Anyway, I'm kind of doing this to figure out my outline and hopefully work out the kinks in this book and why I keep getting stuck where I'm stuck and hopefully we can get past that block today. That's the plan. I'm basically just jotting down something really brief on each note card and I'm doing it by scene, not by chapter. So there's a different note card for every scene. And then I'm gonna spread them all out on my floor <laughs> and work things around and figure things out. The only like system that I have right now is I'm writing in green scenes that are currently in the book and then I'm writing in blue scenes that are not currently in there that I know I need to add. Otherwise, there's no system. <laughs> I think I finished um, organizing my poetry collection too yesterday. I'm really happy with where it's at. I think at this point I might just like add a few more poems here and there, but I'm pretty happy with it the way it is. I emailed my cover designer who does my poetry collections this morning as well. I definitely find that my opinion with my poetry collections is completely determined by time. Like I, I just need to like sit with it for a while. I'm gonna let it sit, look at it again in a few weeks, see if I'm still happy with it. It is short, short, like it's a poetry collection. It's a poetry collection length. Of my collection, that's the shortest one so far, just by like a couple of pages, honestly. So I might add like a few more poems here and there, but otherwise I think it's pretty set to go. So anyway, that's the update. We're gonna keep making these note cards. This is a good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife We made some good progress with the note cards. Dean's been very helpful. I'm showing you upside down with the hopes that you cannot read them. If you can, no you can't. I don't know if you can even tell, I've added a ton of blue ones in there of things I want to add. I also like made some notes in my notebook over there, just like general notes. So this was really helpful because I knew there were a couple of places where I needed something in between these chapters, but I didn't know what. And I think I figured most of it out. So now I'm going to update the outline on my computer with all of these changes. And then we're going to make a plan of attack for the next draft. We just got to start somewhere. Those literally eight note cards of blue at the end. That's the ending that I still have yet to write. <laughs> okay, so this is the current length of book two minus those eight scenes at the end that I still have not written, but we're officially just gonna start a new document. We're gonna start a new draft and we'll see. I just wanted to document the starting point. We'll see how long draft two ends up being. It's now 5.30. We just made a flatbread. Here's a Maxine. And I've been working on my book. So, spoiler alert, I guess I'm revealing the title right now. <laughs> yeah, so the title of book two is Wicked Souls, and I've decided to set up this little page to kind of keep me accountable as I work on the second draft. So you can see here, I've put the date, and then this is what our starting word count was, and I'm gonna update each day what our new total word count is and how many words I added. So my goal for this draft is to get to 80,000 words. That's just an estimate, we'll see, but that's about this many words per day. I think I might do like, daily TikToks or just like something to keep me accountable because I've been working on this book since March and we still don't even have a completed draft because I've been struggling so much. So I'm hoping tracking it like this and maybe like making daily updates will make me feel a little more accountable. I just finished writing a new scene. So we're now a little over 54,000 and we started at like 52. So we've written more than that. 
But yeah, my goal is to have a completed second draft of Wicked Souls by the end of this month. If you want to follow me on TikTok for the daily updates, I'm author Katie Wismer on there. Can you see how windy it is outside right now? Yeah.